Um, okay, so next question I'm going to ask you. I know we were talking about it off camera a little bit. Um, it is Women's Month. Yeah. Um, there is an increased focus on women. And in South Africa, we live in a, in a, you know, in a country where, you know, men don't always treat women in the right way. Um, so what, what, what does Women's Month mean to you and the current state of affairs in South Africa? What do you think, what's, what do you think of what's going on? Yeah. It's, it's becoming a pandemic, you know, like it's it, each and every time we hear a, a domestic violence case or a rape, viol- a rape case, it makes me increasingly aware of the fact that we have a serious problem in this country. Um, I once posted a, a status, you know, about the, the whole, um, there was this uh, woman abuse and violence, you know, boyfriends hitting their, or killing their girlfriends, it was once this Thing, and it's still continuing mm. and the response that I got from that post was so overwhelming that's what made me realize okay we have a serious problem because mm. I posted on on the defense of the woman to say you know what is it acceptable as, as a society for us to judge we'll always be judging the woman when the guy might be the one with the problem mm. the backlash that I received I'm, mm. I'm just like even from that's what made me more aware okay no yeah, no it's it's a it's a mental issue this yeah. thing um, Elder women, like mothers, were out there saying, no, what were you wearing? We taught you better. It was a matter of, no, it is your fault because we taught you, you should know your values. You should know how we raised you. You should be more aware, but this is not the right guy, you know? Mm -hmm. You should know. But love does not come with, oh my God, transparency sometimes. You only know somebody when you're really in there. Mm -hmm. Um, So, and and, you know the usual, no, it all boiled down to, from even the guys and the girls' perspective, it all boiled down to, yeah, it is your fault. Simply because Jeez. you shouldn't have been there, um, you should know better, um, you, you shouldn't have made him angry, that's, that type of thing. So I sat there and I realized, oh my gosh, it's a m- mental issue. You can only, and there's no amount of education that can mm. change that. There's no amount of, I don't know, psychiatric, sorry, psychiatric mm. treatment. So it's a, it's a mental issue. And... I thought about it and I was like, okay, how else can we change this? You can only, a mental way of thought is in, mm. inspired or is created by your demographic, where you grew up. Mm. You're up, not just your parents, every single person that you have an inter, or a close interaction with mm. has a say or a, an impartation in your life and how you are groomed, you know? Mm. If you are, most of the cases, if you look at them, most of the victims or the pe- people that do the assaulting mm. are, have been abused in the past you know what mm. i mean and that has played a huge role in how they think and how they rationalize things mm. um so i don't know the, we need to go back and teach our children because there's nothing we can do about this like what, what, what we are in now mm. no the only way we can change i believe is if we teach our children it's not about me thinking i'm beautiful and i don't deserve this it's about a guy also thinking she's beautiful and I'm also beautiful and nobody deserves this. It's a mental thing. And for as long as we don't change that and teaching our, our boy child that it's not acceptable, it's not right. Mm. It's, not, it, it's not correct to hit a woman or hit anybody for that matter without, I don't care what the reason is. There's no proper reasoning that can make you hit a woman, you know? Yeah. Then we will never change. Mm, so so teach them while they're still young mm-hmm. and then we can bring up a new generation perhaps that will not be as violent you're still fairly fairly is it fair to say you're fairly new <laughs> yes it's been um fun. but how do you feel about um what's trending worldwide in terms of the me too movement in terms of um a woman being abused in terms of the entertainment industry mm. uh, they can't get ahead we've obviously heard some of that happen in south africa what do you kind of feel about that and do you have any words for anybody who's trying to be in your position mm. who's trying to make music who's trying to navigate it in this male-dominated industry look i think feminism is something it's, it's, it's a real issue it's a, it's a tough one because um women we, we are very emotional beings, we are, but okay. um, at some times we are our own biggest enemies at times because we are unable, here's my issue with women, okay. we are unable to support each other um. to begin with. That's where it needs to start okay. before we can expect men to jump in. Jump in. I mean, we, this is something, men versus female dynamics, men have been dominating for years, mm-hmm. right? 
if we are unable to start here, mm. how are we going to create a, men a mentality for change with other genre, I mean, with other sex, with the other sex? Mm. You guys, I, look, I mean, I look at male relationships within the music industry, for example. Mm. Um, if I was a guy, I could easily come up to your man. I need help with the X, Y, and Z. And it's it's beautiful. Like it's just like let's get into studio, let's work. <laughs> yeah. Females. Oh my God. Why? Mm. No, no, no. And this is something I also have a problem with. Like it's just how we are. It's just like, yo, don't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think we first need to start fixing that first. Okay. That thing of it's because when women get it right. And it, like if you look at okay, let's say just in the entertainment. If you look at your DJs and, and your protos, for example, mm. that force together is 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 incredible. It's it's a beautiful thing when women come together and they do right, especially in the entertainment industry. If we get that right, then we, we can become a more bigger voice, and then we can go okay. Even men will start to sit back and say, okay, they 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 they're serious. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, but in terms of people who want to get into this industry and um, uh, uh, want advice on how to do it, look, we are not all born with a silver spoon on our mouths, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, if you have a dream, and this is how I did it, um, once I realized, okay, this is what I want to do, <laughs> what tools do I have that can enable me to get to that dream faster? Mm -hmm. That is that was my objective. What can filter me out from the riffraff? You mm -hmm. know that so, so that uh, recording labels like tinism.com can find me. That's your first objective. Now for me, school was an advantage. I was able to look at you know the frustration because I was I was getting to a point like oh gosh okay, what is it? What am I missing? And it, it turned out to be music. And once I realized that I was able to use school and my job to fund my music, mm -hmm. you know, as an independent artist back mm -hmm. then, and. I wasn't expecting any profit from it. I was just doing it because I really enjoyed it. And it fulfilled me to, you know, hear my song and hear people vibing to it. Um, you must, first of all, as a human being, be able to invest in your craft. Very important. Otherwise, you're not going to go anywhere. Don't sit there and think uh, recording labels are going to come to you. Secondly, if you do sign, um, those are people that are helping you, you know. Um, I, I know that there's a mentality um, with, with, you know, signing and independent, don't stay independent for as long. No, honey, it's expensive. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's expensive. And that's something people don't want to say. Mm -hmm. It is expensive. You cannot grow a brand on your own mm -hmm. unless you have a, a budget. You know what I mean? And that's the reality. So when you do sign, understand that it, it's a business. You mm -hmm. know, at, at the end of the day, if people are investing money in you, returns need to be made so how you negotiate to your contract is important you know mm. what I mean? and, and yes prioritize your dreams but don't let that prioritization cloud your judgment in terms of how sustainable your dreams can be you know what you know what I mean? sometimes it's okay to go to school go get a job and get educated just so you can mm. dream you know i don't know if that makes sense that's just no it does it's solid advice <laughs>